You know, whether you have the best aim in the game or you're just a really good placement player, there is one major thing that pros have mastered that you need to start practicing. Peace control is like one of the things that really separates the average player from the pros, guys, and is the reason pro players win so many fights consistently. But your question, Charmy, where you at? Listen, you already know who this is. Your motivation guy, Keith Allen. And today, we're gonna go through five of the best peace control strategies to absolutely destroy your opponents. We're gonna show you why these strategies work so well and even teach you how to learn and just really use them. So pay close attention, man. Note these down. We're about to show you guys some of the best strategies with examples coming from some of your favorite pros. All right, question of the day. What is a peace control strategy that you think that you're the best at? Let us know in the comments down below and we're definitely gonna check it out. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get this going. The first insane peace control strategy we have is the jump cone. All right, guys, so this strategy will help you block off your opponents without having to elevate yourself, which saves you a whole lot of time. Okay, so in this example, you can see the player jump and place the cone exactly where he wants to without having to ramp over his opponent. You should always use this strategy when your opponent is trying to ramp over you as it blocks them off and really just gives you enough time to track their movement. The player instantly saw his opponent trying to slip away through the open side, right? And doing this strategy gave him enough time to block him off on both sides. You could actually do this strategy without jumping in certain scenarios and just requires you to look directly above the wall you need to cone off. This strategy is very tricky for players who aren't used to having the required cross your placement. So we recommend practicing and knowing exactly how to do it. So let's take a step by step. All right, so to initiate this strategy, just wait for your opponent to block you off with the wall or you can choose to not edit on them and still use the strategy. So if you have the wall in your opponent and they are waiting for you to edit, we recommend using this strategy and they will have no idea what to do. All right, so just instantly jump up, cone them off and wait for them to start running around. If they try running out through the side, place the wall and box them there. And if they try pickaxing down, make sure that you get there before them. Just remember guys, like you can do a lot of different things with this strategy, all right? You can choose to edit on your opponent if they start panicking or simply just wait for them with the right hand peek to avoid taking a risk. All right guys, so the next piece control strategy is something that you already seen and you may already be using it. All right guys, the double edit cone strategy is useful when you're one layer above your opponent and allows you to deal damage to your opponent safely when used right. All right, so use this strategy instead of just jumping straight into your opponent's box as taking a 50-50 is just never a good idea. In this example, you can see the opponent quickly piece control the opponent's tops and below him, which forces him to shoot back. Obviously, having the high ground in this situation allows you to have a much better angle in your opponent and even lets you bait them with the wall edit. You know, something that the example does not show you is how to be even more protective with this strategy. So to use this strategy, simply place a floor and cone above your opponent's box and instantly place a cone in their box. We recommend placing the floor first and then the cone after. Okay, why you may ask? Well, this allows you to have the cone out while editing and after editing the two builds, you're instantly gonna be able to place the cone. So take this tip into mind for all strategies as editing with your builds out will make it much more faster. Okay, so now that you know the basics of the strategy, let's talk about an even safer addition to that. After coning your opponent off, all right, you should place a wall directly in front of you. This allows you to be safe from your opponent's pump shot and even bait them into shooting. After placing the wall, instantly edit the wall and don't stop shooting until they're eliminated. All right, guys, so for our next piece control strategy, all right, so we have the wide edit and double cone. This strategy is one of the most commonly used strategies, something that pro players have been using from the very start. All right, so this strategy allows you to play very aggressively and keep your opponent from escaping within your bounds. Placing a wall and edit it wide allows you to have a lot of space to work with. And if you're confident, you could even run into the box after coning them off. So by coning above and below them, your opponent can jump up and run away and they cannot edit a floor below them. All right, so to use this strategy, you need to be consistent with your wall edits and make sure that you know exactly when to cone your opponent off. All right, so when you make the wide edit, don't take too much time to cone your opponent off or they're gonna be able to shoot you very easily and potentially one pump you. Instead, edit and quickly flick up and down with your builds out and place the cone simultaneously. And so this basically fully boxes your opponent and gives you another option like placing walls to their sides or even resetting the wall and going for a play from another angle. All right, so when it comes to getting better at Fortnite, there's a world of information out there, but not everything always gives you guys structure, right? And so if you want pro one-on-one -on -one coaching from like some of the top pros in the world, go to proguys.com and sign up today using code RANKUP2021 
2021 for 20% off. They are designed to train you in every area and according to your pace, highly recommend it. Okay guys, so for our fourth strategy, we have the right hand pre-box. A pre-box is a technique used by many pro players that the average competitive player still struggles with. And it's arguably like one of the biggest things that really keeps a skill gap in competitive play. So pre-boxing is the ability to predict a player's movement and place builds in order to box them up before they even get there. The most deadly use of pre-boxing is using a right hand peek along with it. All right, so this obviously only works if your opponent is running to the right side of you, as shown in the example. This is very useful if your opponent is trying to get away from you, especially if they claim the builds around you. And so using the right hand peek to your advantage is also very important and it really allows you to shoot first and it makes it harder for your opponent to shoot back. So this strategy is very difficult to perfect at first, but once you get the movements down, man, I'm telling you, it's very useful. All you need to do is just track your opponent's movements and place a wall between you and them. All right, so you need to be quick with your edits and open the wall up and fully piece control everything in front of them. We recommend placing a cone below them first and then build all the missing pieces that they can slip through. If you feel confident with your aim, all right, you can choose to only place the cones, but only if you're 100% sure that your opponent cannot get away. All right, guys, so don't limit yourself to using the pre-box technique for only right hand peaks, all right? Pre-boxing will help you make a lot of plays that you weren't able to do before and will always keep your opponent in your box. For example, let's take a look at this example by Noah Rayleigh. Noah manages to get a ramp in his opponent's box and knows his opponent's best move would be to edit downwards. However, he could easily counter this by just quickly editing down and claiming a wall. He can then place a cone under his opponent and fully box him before he has the chance to react. All right, you can also use pre-boxing for peeking to the left side. Just make sure that you take it slower and really position yourself to take a right hand peek after boxing up your opponent. All right, guys, so up next, we got one of the most useful useful peace control strategy. That takes little to no skill to really use in a fight. You guys ready for this? The high wall is a strategy that helps protect yourself in a build fight and also helps you block your opponent off with no effort. You need to start using a high wall whenever you're trying to retake the high ground, especially when your opponent just keeps on 90. All right, you can also combine the high wall with many other strategies such as the jump cone. By using a jump cone along with the high wall, you can fully peace control your opponent from above and to their size and just easily edit on them for a free 200 pump. All right, so the wall is very easy to use, all right, and only requires you to have decent crosshair placement. So whenever your opponent is looking for a shot on you, instantly just build two walls looking upwards. So we recommend flicking upwards and then keeping your crosshair near your opponent. And so by doing this, you can edit much faster and have your crosshair placement exactly where it needs to be. And so like we mentioned previously, guys, like you can choose to block them off with a jump cone or simply edit on them and get right in their face. All right, so for the jump cone, you just need to remember to use it in situations where your opponent is on the same layer as you. Just simply jump up, place a cone over their head, or even use perfect crosshair placement to block them off without having to jump. All right, guys, so the double edit cone requires you to have very fast double edits, so just make sure to practice them. All right, remember to edit with your builds out so you can place the cone faster and shoot right after. All right, so the wide edit cone is like a very easy strategy that only requires you to have good movement. So make sure that you place your cones and block your opponents off before they can react, and then just try your best to shoot them first. First. All right, here we go. The right hand pre-box is one of the hardest strategies in this video and definitely requires you to use sharp game sense and quick edits. So just make sure that you track your opponent and pre-place builds to trap them into your box. All right, so the high wall is a strategy that will ruin your opponent's chances of keeping height over you every time you need to retake height and block your opponent off. Just high wall, ramp up to the side and calm them off. All right, guys, so we hope you guys found this video useful and you learned the best piece control strats that you can implement into your gameplay. You know, all of these piece control strategies take a lot of practice and really a lot of dedication and you know we really hope pro guys can really help guide you to success as well as your motivation guy help you guys learn a lot and you know rewatch certain sections to really learn each strategy to implement into your daily gameplay man make sure to remember all these tips that you learned you know it's something new let us know if you did learn something new down in the comments and we're definitely going to check it out subscribe to the channel don't forget to do that if you like the video you already know what to do subscribe to the channel spread the word we have so much more amazing content coming out and connect with me on my Instagram, guys. Come on, where you at? Your motivation guy. Your motivation guy. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.